Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the incredibly weird but very fun Infini. So this, uh, so basically this was developed by Banaki, uh, published by Rainy Frog and it's available normally for $8.99 but it does go on sale frequently. Uh, for instance, this was $4.49, uh, £4.49 slash $4.99. So, uh, so basically, how do I explain this? We are a guy who jumps out of a spaceship, is upside down, and we, it's it's just one hell of a mind-bending experience. Um, so, yeah, the, the aim of the game is, as we're falling down on screen, we have to basically get into the hole. So you've got to stick your head right up a hole, and I'm not saying anything more than that. Um, and that, yeah, that's pretty much it. And obviously, we've got to avoid boxes. So, yeah, you'll see what I mean by the sort of weird but <laughs> quite fun gameplay anyway. As for achievements, very easy. Uh, all we got to do is uh, effectively just... Um, so we've got to complete the game, obviously. So there'll be a few story related there to complete the game. Um, we do have to collect one collectible and we have to collect the symbol. Um, very easy. So shouldn't shouldn't take too long. Should take between 10 and 15 minutes. So... Well, with that being said then, <laughs> let's do it. There's this little bit of a cutscene as we begin down. Now, the only ways you can't obviously go up, because you're con constantly floating down. Uh, for some reason, he decides to go head first for whatever reason. But there we go then. So, obviously, this is just a sort of tutorial bit. So, you can go, you know, left, right, and down in order to go to the other part of the screen. And there's the big hole that you need to go into. So... <clears throat> Obviously, the boxes there, the tiny little boxes, they are the ones, the things that we're going to be avoiding. So, for instance, with this one, what you need to do then is try and get left and then go as left as you can now where the gap is. And obviously, just stick your head through the hole again. And I'm not saying anything more than that again. Right, head to the left again. So, you're up the top. And then what you need to do as soon as you're at the top, quickly go left again, stay, and then left again, drop down, and that's the next level done. So they do seem a little bit complicated, but they're not too bad, these ones. So, for instance, we're just going to continue going right. You will, uh, obviously, you will die at some point. So you'll get an achievement for dying once as well. If that happens, just press the A button to restart. So, again, just take your time with it. Go right, and then right again. You're going to end up at the bottom left of the screen. So continue on right, and then right again. So it's basically just going right and right as you can. So with this one, we will go to the right again. Drop down. Um, and obviously we'll be going to the right when we find the gap here on the right, left, then right, and then we just need to go down this bit. So again, it can be, they, they look complicated, but they're not too bad. Make sure to go, obviously go right so you don't die at the very end here. And that's your head through the hole again. So if you press the A button there, you can slow down yourself. Obviously you're going to be avoiding the birds. So the bird dinosaur doesn't. You know, stick his head in your hole. <laughs> anyway, so what we'll do then is go left now. Again, remember to press the A button. Uh, well, sort of when you get to the bottom of the screen, so you don't get too far to the bird dino dude. And then that should be as simple as pear. And pear is pretty simple. Now we can press the X button to go faster. So again, from now on, you can press the X button to go faster. The A button to go slower. Now this one confused me first, but you can obviously see all the boxes we still got to avoid. But we got to avoid the fishes as well. So if you just sort of keep your eye on the boxes, it's um, again easier. It's easy enough once you sort of uh, get a hand of it. But head off to the left, go to the bottom, head to the left. Now and then we can go through the gap. Quickly get down and then obviously we'll go slightly left and that'll put us straight into the bucket hole. Now, there is a collectible here. It's underneath my Welsh Hunter sign right there. But basically, in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, there was the collectible, which you could probably just hear there. Um, so I do apologize, but you can obviously see it looks like a little white box of sorts. And then this is kind of like an angry bird, not angry bird, what was it? Flappy bird section, um, but not as frustrating. So you literally just go in, obviously down and down. Again, remember, you can slow down yourself or speed up if you need it. And obviously, just get to the hole in the top right-hand corner. There we go. So, that's another one done. So, obviously, we've got the strange symbol there, achievement for collecting the one symbol. That's all we need. So, for this one, then, it can look slightly confusing, but just try... All you got to do is basically just stay in the middle 
of the fishes. And when you see the gap, make sure to swim down. So just keep your eye, just keep yourself in the middle of these fish was. Go down, there we go, so you don't get hit on the other fish. And then you should end up at the left there, and you should now be able to stick your nugget in the holet. There we go. Right, so once you get down, basically, it's, uh, you're going to have a little bit of a breather now, but you can just keep spamming the B button a whole bunch of times in order to get through the dialogue. So we are talking now to what appears to be a pregnant elephant with us as we look... Well, we look kind of like we come out of a mental institute, in all fairness. Kind of Jim Carrey style, with no trousers on and no peewee, or no nothing. Hmm. I wonder who came up with this design. So, just after this bit then, um, don't go ahead and spam, do not spam the B button just after this bit. So, we're going to take this bit nice and slow. The reason being, we need another achievement with a treasure chest here on the right hand side. So, just take your time with it. Because obviously if you press the B button, you're going to have to go through all that again. So, let's scroll over when you can, over to the right-hand side treasure chest. Then press the B button. For some reason, it's not the A button. Press the B button a couple more times here in the top left-hand corner. And you should get the translator achievement. So, there we go. Job done. Now we can go ahead and play the second memory. There's basically only three small levels that we've got to do left. Now, this one basically includes... Uh, pressing the right trigger in order to zoom the screen out, but if you zoom it out too far You won't be able to get to the hole because it'll have squares by it Again to be fair as weird as this game looks in terms of what the hell are these characters with all three eyes and We get an achievement flute in our arm for some reason by a dinosaur again Not a clue what's going on, but whatever the developers took on this. I'll have some too, please See, my weirdness doesn't come from anything, it just comes from my brain, which well, is bad news for a lot of people. Um, but yes, so again, this is just a cutscene for the minute anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let us begin the next set of incredibly detailed but bizarre levels. So, like I said, it's going to be the right trigger that we're going to be using in order to zoom the screen out. But again, you need to do it quite slowly. So as you can see, just on the left-hand side, there's like little red flashing bits, if you know what I mean. So if you go too far out, as you can see, there is the... Ah, well, let's try that again. So there's the hole, but obviously if you go too far out, that hole will be covered by old bricks and you just have to die and restart it again. So when you see the hole there, wait till you get to the top and then you can jump yourself in. But at least we're the right way now. So we don't have any um, blood. Bloods. So same thing, right trigger out slowly and apparently I died on absolutely nothing. So you need to get obviously as close to the right as we can and then immediately, oof, somehow I didn't die there. And then obviously when we get to the top, jump it over to the right. 
And this is going to be the last level that we're going to do. So again, go out very slowly. As soon as you see the hole, <laughs> I'm sorry, you need to stop. There we go. So there we go. We'll stop zooming out now. So we're going to get as far as we can over to the right. As soon as you hit the top, jump over and skedaddle, gabado, yamado. Yeah, all done. So there we go then, guys and gals. So that is infinite done. A very bizarre, but <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed it anyway. So thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. Of course, if it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon subscribers, uh, members, YouTube and all everyone who ever interacts with me on the daily. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Big love!